Hello everyone, ASM here and I'm back with a video, an update video. If you have been to my channel, you must have known that three months back I have taken a few cuttings from a nursery that I have visited. I have taken a small, small cuttings that I actually stole from that nursery. One was of this Dishidia nimularia or the string of nickels and the other one is this Calicia that is the turtle vine. So, it's been three months since I have uploaded that video, it's the propagation video and if you have not watched it yet you can go to my channel or you can visit the link that I'll put in the description. You can watch the previous video where I propagate both of these plants from cutting. So it's been three months and I'm here with the update and it's quite shocking that both these plants have quite different results of the propagation so here are the results so uh, this was the dishiria and uh, the cutting was quite the same when i planted it you can see if you have watched the previous video you must have known that the cutting was just up to this point like from this to this this is the new growth which was not there so in three months time this is the new shoot that it has thrown this little tiny one you can see those two little leaves it is shown from this node it have grown only this tiny shoot in three months time and it has lost a leaf and a portion of stem actually I had to cut it off because it got rotten due to fungal infection and treated with fungicide because actually I overwatered it plant parents do that there's no denial sometimes we become extra cautious about the care of our plants and we damage them knowingly or unknowingly so dishidia is a succulent plant doesn't require much water it loves to stay dry but i accidentally overwatered it and it cut rotten so i have to cut that rotten part and treat it with fungicide so this is the result i don't know how long it will survive or either it will make it or not but this is the new growth it has shown in three months time and then here is the wonderful turtle vine or the calicia in three minutes time sorry in three months time i have taken three cuttings and it has given me so much beautiful growth if you have been to that previous video you must have known it was just scrapes quite little pieces of vines that i got and i just placed them over this mixture the potting mix and in three months time it has grown to this beautiful length and in those three months time i have never cut them i never pruned them i let them grow like this actually you can prune them at this stage you can prune right here leaving two to three nodes from the pot or from the base and it will grow bushier like this these these vines can also be pruned i can take several cuttings from these vines and they will become bushy and they can be regrown but in three months time i have never pruned them because i have quite a few plants to take care of so i have to neglect one or the other so I have just left it grow like that and it has shown this beautiful growth quite beautiful I really love the growth and regarding the care of those plants those are both indoor plants as it is a succulent plant it doesn't require much water watering it in every 10 days is fine 15 is also okay 
and if your potting mix is super drainy and dries off quickly you can water it once in a week it is an epiphyte and loves light spotting medium light and airy potting medium well drainage should be there and uh, regarding light it does quite well in bright indirect light doesn't like direct sun but likes bright indirect light both of these plants they like bright indirect light and they can't tolerate direct sun decidia up to a certain length can can tolerate direct sunlight for a few hours but turtle vine gets burned quickly the leaves quickly get burned like this when exposed to direct sun see like this this is a leaf that is burned due to sunlight so that was the right requirement no fertilizer absolutely no fertilizer i don't fertilize them because uh, i add vermicompost while potting them if you have been to the previous video you know in potting mix we had vermicompost so that provides all the nutrition they need it is quite a robust grower so you can add vermicompost whenever you feel every 15 days is fine every month is fine you can even add chemical fertilizers if you wish to and uh, propagation you have all seen the video how to propagate them through cuttings so this was quite amazing this this one is quite amazing i'm happy with the results that video was actually the second most watched video on my channel so i thought all of the viewers who have watched that video they needed an update they have the right to watch the update so i'm posting the update and the results are amazing it is quite a slow grower but still it's happy to see new growth and uh, this one is beautiful so yeah that's it thank you for watching this if you have made it here i really really i am grateful to you thank you so much for all the love and support if you're new to this channel do subscribe and support this small content creator and uh, if you really like the video if you're happy with the results please make sure to hit that thumbs up button like the video and share it with your plant lover friends or anyone you can share it and spread the information thank you so much for being here i love you all bye